Hey Care Bears, it's Haley here. Welcome back to another video on my channel. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe for daily Roblox videos. Anyways, in today's video, I am going to be giving you guys a guide to Astro Renaissance. You guys keep asking me about playing this, and also a lot of people are confused about it too. So I wanted to make a beginner guide for how to play so you can get started in Astro Renaissance. There are some things that aren't necessary to do that I thought you needed to do to start, but it's actually like you don't need to do it. And also just like, I didn't know how to do anything at first. I was so confused on where to go and where the tutorial was and stuff like that. So this video is for that. There isn't really gonna be many like location videos for like finding things. There's a lot of quests in this game when it comes to like looking for things and stuff, but that's not going to be in this one. I'm gonna have a separate video for those because is a lot and this video would be probably like two hours long if i included all the locations so like everything for every quest so i'm going to have quest videos soon but this for now is just a beginner's guide so if you're just starting out this is just like the gist of the game and what you need to know um going into it so let's go ahead and get into it <laughs> So once you get into the load screen or the login screen, um, you can see that there is four buttons. There's the update log, so you can see all the new things that are out now as of February 2nd. And then you can also see the travel button, which shows your map. You can exit out your map by clicking this heart button right there. And then uh, coming soon, obviously we can't click that. And then let's play just takes you to here. So when you press let's play, you're just in this little like hub area here. There is two portals that you can choose to go into. There's there's Citadel of Cosmos, and then there is Cyber Galaxy. So Cyber Galaxy is just the map, like I showed earlier when I pressed travel. And then over here is Citadel of Cosmos, which is one area on the map, which is right here. It's the city. So this is like the main area. This is like where everything is at, it feels like. There is a few areas that are locked and stuff, but I'll explain why those are locked in a second. We just need to go to the Citadel of Cosmos. This is like where you can basically start start and learn everything for the game like ignore everything on the map right now i know it's like a lot just go to the citadel of cosmos it, it helps explain a lot of stuff so anyways let's load into here real quick there so once you load in all you need to do is turn around and talk to moonlight right here moonlight is kind of like your tour guide basically so if you just press i'm lost she can give you basically the whole tutorial on what you do so let's go ahead and go through it you can just press start tutorial this this is what helped me understand what to do. So this explains the sidebar that's on the right side of your screen. So right now she explains to you what each thing is. So this is the dress up button right here. So that's how you change your outfit. And this is the shop where you buy clothes and stuff. And then the next button is your tablet. Um, I'm pretty sure. And the tablet is kind of like your journal in Royal High. It's like basically where you can see your badges. There, you have wish lists on here so people can buy you like your dream items in the game for you if they ever want to there isn't trading in the game or i don't know if they ever plan to but you can gift things to people at least that's what you can do and then here's the poses like animations and stuff and then this button is the teleport or travel button to see like the map and then obviously the settings button is right here and then that is all the buttons here it does take a really long time to explain all of them in the tutorial but that is the gist of those main six buttons then after they explain those buttons they start talking about the currencies so there's two different types of currencies there's moonstones right here and tickets so moonstones gets you like items and stuff and you can get them by completing quests doing jobs and going around and collecting them because they on the planets and then the tickets you get from doing arcade games because there is like an arcade in the game you can also get xp from working doing jobs and also playing in the arcade and there is an xp bar on the side which i'll show because it went away really fast so hang on let me just get out of the tutorial this is the xp bar right here and if you're ever annoyed with like this whole bar just click right here and it'll go away so yeah that's how this whole sidebar works then this just turns off and on the music and this is the sprint button right here so that is the whole layout of uh the ui for astro Renaissance 
croissants. Anyways though, next thing is how do you really get moonstones? Like you told us, but like, can you show it? So there's a few ways that you can get moonstones, which is the currency in the shop. So here's what the shop looks like. You can see if we just go into like skirts and dresses that you can see the price is a moonstone, which is a heart stone. And to be able to buy stuff, you need to get moonstones, which is the currency right here. So what you need to do, there's like multiple different ways that you can get moonstones. The best way, in my opinion, is getting a job. But to get a job, you have to do a quest. So the easiest job to start out with as a beginner in Astro Renaissance is go over here this way and also on your way pick up some moonstones. You can pick them up here. I think each one gives you 10. So go this way and then take a right. And then right here is this one like science lab and this is this one person named Dr. Fluffkins and you're gonna have to talk to them to get the job. So I'm gonna go on an alt account real quick to show you guys where all of the lost tools are. All right, so Nathan's going to help me with finding these five tools. So basically go talk to Dr. Fluffkins and he's just going to explain that he like lost some tools. Yeah. And there's five that you need to find. So Nathan helped me figure this out last night and I don't remember where any of them are except for one over here. So I'm going to go there first. So the first tool is by this Astro line place on this box right here. And then I think there's one in the park, right? Yeah, there's one in the park on one of okay. the benches on the right side. Okay, so follow me this way and then turn right right here and then it's back this way. Yeah. Yeah. And this one right here. Then there's three left. So there's one by spawn. So we need to go straight out of the park and just keep walking straight all the way this way. Walking, walking. Walking, walking. Walking, and then it is right here on the right bench. Then and one right by the green, green screen. screen. Okay, so there's a green screen right here. It is pink on my screen right now, but it's probably a different color for you depending on your server. And it's right here to the right. I keep saying right. All right, and then the last one is actually back more towards the scientist. So we got to go all the way through here past the spawn. This is a spawn right here. Turn around and then turn right right Towards here the food truck there's a food truck right here or a frozen stars that's what it's called then turn right again and it's right here and that is the final one so we can go back to dr fluffkins now to get our job and the job's super easy and you make a lot of money from it so anyways now that you've finished that what you need to do is just go into this building right next to him this is where you can do the laboratory anyways here it is so you just press start job here and the rules on how to play were kind of confusing using me and Nathan last night. So basically what you need to do is kind of like the potion matching game in Royal High. So basically you look at these four different little flames in the blue corner and you just copy this pattern on the pink side. So there's a pink one here. So I click pink on the pink side and there's a blue one on the little blue bar. So I click blue on the pink side. Then there's purple and then there's green and then it starts over again and it changes um, on the blue side. Yes. And you have five rounds of this and you have to finish it in a minute and a half. Yeah, it's always just five rounds and the faster the better is what it, we thought but it's actually just random I think um but yeah so there we go I finished and then you can see how much I make up at the top here 128 moonstones and 131 xp so I made a lot from just that and you can do it as many times as you want there's no like limit or anything you can just keep doing it as much as you like but I actually clicked one wrong but that is the job I recommend doing like this is like a good starter job like learning the game and stuff but anyways there is one more quest that I do want to show you guys. I know I said I wasn't going to do many quests in this video or like finding things, but to start out, I think this one is actually really good because it's really easy and it's also nearby as well. So if we go to the left this way, here is Venus right here and Venus lost his cat. So you can find it's only one thing that you need to find and it's just this cat and i know exactly where it is thanks to nathan so anyways let's just click through this real quickly so let's go this way you got to turn around from venus and then 
go left and then walk past the cafe here then go right right now by the green screen or it's pink screen for me and then right here is a subway that you can enter so go up right here and then you can see a bunch of people jumping up trying to get to the cat i don't know why they're jumping here because it's actually over here i don't know what they're doing <laughs> so anyways let's go up here onto this thing there we go and grab there we go now we can leave i don't know what they're doing but let's leave <laughs> okay and we're gonna go right and left pick up some moonstones on the way and you'll get a free item on venus yes you get a free accessory okay thank you so much for finding my cat I have a plushie of my cat it's so cute oh my gosh so anyways let's go and dress up to check it out so now i'm going to talk about how to dress up in the game so basically um this is the main menu it shows what you're wearing and you can go to here to check out all of your items you just got to click this button here this button is for your saved outfit so you can save stuff this button's for makeup and this button's for hair and then you can choose your body type here and yeah so anyways i'm gonna go to stuff i own and you can see i own a lab coat from talking and working with uh the laboratory guy so i got this lab coat but you also get this cat so this is the cat it's really really cute and it's just right next to you um and then how to color stuff is you select one or how many it is and you just choose a color here is what you can do or you can actually um i don't think you're able to actually color this item because it's just like itself i think we're gonna try to color the lab coat real quickly there we go so we can color this one we're just not able to color the cat so yeah then there's also fabrics that you can use and it's actually really cool because they are free they don't cost robux to use so there's a lot of cute fabrics on here um and yeah so that is how you dress up and yeah so you can also click off or on for your roblox accessories right here in the corner and you can change your roleplay name right here it's pretty simple to understand um so yeah anyways there is actually another quest i did say that's the only one but i think i want to do one more for a free item that i think is a good way to start this is what me and nathan did um and it's that one for the cat headphones and it would be really cute to have with the cat that we just got in that other quest so i think that's a good start for the game so anyways let's go this way um and there is going to be a girl crying over here that you talk to and she is missing some like chips and these were pretty easy to find right i just don't remember all of the locations exactly you basically just walk in a giant circle on the map you'll get like most of them yeah but i'm gonna show you guys all the locations with nathan now first location right behind her <laughs> right oh yes in the cafe right here there is some chips so let's go in here that's to the right it is right here now the next one let's go through here right keep walking down keep walking down okay so now once you're here take a left and then there is one at this bench there we go the next one is left this way up here and straight across there is one right here by this lamp post and then you when you see like the black history month uh what is it planetarium i think mm -hmm. go in the parking garage next to it right this way and it should be behind, behind the ramp. this ramp i remember this one there we go okay so now from here let's go this way and then take a right and then right here just straight on there is one right here bam and, and then cross the street to the next building over yep over there's here. one from this like right atm there. and then there's also one inside, inside the, store. the boutique here let's go and it is right there here it is yes. bam once you leave the boutique take a left then a left again and then look on this side of the screen on your left and there is one right here and then that go to the park right here there should be one in here too in the back left right here on this table now we just need one more the final one is over here near the scientist dude so let's go left and then it's in this area right here where his tools were right here and that is all 10 of them so let's go talk to her now and we can get some free cat headphones which will look really cute with the cat all right take these exclusive headphones 
so that is all the quests for this beginner's guide really that i'm gonna do i just wanted to give you guys two free items that you can get and also at least one job that you can farm for but now we need to go to the arcade because that's a whole other currency to learn about so i'm gonna go back to my main account now okay so go back to spawn you can reset to go back to spawn and to be able to go to the arcade you can just go right here in cosmic adventure so this is the arcade and yes let's teleport to the new place all right so here is the arcade and there is a lot in here there is a lot in here to do so over here is where you play some mini games at and you can get tickets from these so there is pop the balloons find the differences and astro jump i haven't played find the differences or pop the balloons but i have played astro jump i'm gonna try the pop the balloons game it does cost you moonstones though to play so it's basically like you're trading out your moonstones for tickets so just keep that in mind when you're trying to get tickets that you are gonna have to spend your moonstones so you have to farm moonstones and do your job in order to get tickets so let's go ahead and play so what you need to do is read right here it says pop a orange balloon and you have three seconds left to do it then it says pop a blue balloon and it counts you down you have to read this and then sometimes you don't even have to pop one at all because like there's no red balloon showing up so then it changes to green so click up oh. I've clicked that one. Oh my gosh. I don't know if that was me. I think I might have accidentally done something. But then once you like mess up, just click claim reward. And then I got 20 tickets and XP. Now I'm going to do find the differences. Let's press play on this. Find eight differences between image one and two. So here's one difference. We click that. Okay. And here's the star, uh, the star there and the smile. And right here, there's not two spikes and the dot right here and then what else is different i don't see any other differences what oh oh i finished 106 tickets and 212 xp that's actually pretty good so there's multiple things that you can spend your tickets on you can go to the claw machine here to like get some random accessories for fun or uh, other things here though this is where you can get the rare item this is like ba basically like astro renaissance's version of a halo and it is not a halo though it's called a valk and it is a really cool item here is actually what they look like you can see them in the shop if we go to separate and valks here this is what they look like they're really really pretty and they are legacy like you can't get them unless you get them from this right here so all you need to do is go to press play um and then you can have a chance at getting it um so let's see what happens when i try to press play i'm, I'm nervous have you ever expected feel love in the air that exact season of the year you feel love songs in every whisper oh my goodness this is long this is a lot of text <laughs> I can't read all this. I can't read all this. Oh, man. It said better luck next time. Darn it. I didn't get it. But I don't think that costs tickets, what I just showed you guys. I think it's just a summit time thing. Let me try again. Yeah. So you can only do it every 30 minutes. So every 30 minutes, you can try again to get the Valk, the rare item in the game. But that doesn't cost tickets. But this does, this claw machine. And this claw machine gets you some good things. Why did I get the Galactic 1D award? Oh my gosh. I think I already have this. I'm pretty sure. I'm going to check. Let me go see in my inventory here. Do I have that already? I don't. I thought I had got that before. Or no, I got the naughty baby bellow. So now I have one D. So you can get a bunch of different items from the claw machine too. And it only costs 100 tickets. Not only that, but you can also spin the wheel here and it costs 120 tickets. Let's see what we get. I got more tickets. I got 50 tickets. Oh, that's actually kind of a loss. But yeah, and then there's also other games here and it costs tickets for these too. So there's one called Where is the Star? So let's Let's go ahead and play this one we have to follow this cup to make sure we click the right star okay do i click it now what i followed it i followed it what oh my gosh <laughs> what i clicked the wrong one again i'm really bad at this i literally thought i was following it okay go what? I'm literally clicking the right one. I can't believe this. I am really bad at this game. It's always the one next to it. It's always the one next to it. It has to be in here. Oh my gosh, finally I got one right. Oh my gosh. That took me so long. But basically, this is kind of like turning your tickets into moonstones. So it's like, you know, it costs 50 tickets to 
play games to give you moonstones, and that's what these basically are. So, let's see if we can play match the cards, right? <laughs> okay, here we go. Flip this one, flip this one. Darn it. Okay. Aw, oh, man. Okay, here we go. I, I can do this one. Star, star. You are timed, though. So make sure you're quick. What? There we go. What? Okay, wait, there's pink borders and blue borders. Okay, I didn't notice that. There we go. Oh gosh, I have 30 seconds left. There. Bam. Done. Whew. And I got 150 tickets and 250 XP. Oh wow. Okay, so I got moonstones in this one, but I got tickets in this one. That's interesting. They both costed uh, tickets though, so I'm not really sure what that's about. But um, anyways, so that's basically what the arcade is. It's just a place to play some little mini games to get items and stuff, spin the wheel, fun things like that. There's some more like games over here, but I don't think you can play these ones um, yet. Hopefully we can eventually. But my favorite thing about this area is the claw machine because you can get some rare stuff. Well, not rare stuff, but like you know, exclusive things. Oh, I got another one. Darn. I wonder what happens when you get the same thing. You don't get two of anything. There's no duplicates or anything like that. So let's see. What am I going to get now? <laughs> oh my gosh, I got another thing I already have. I don't know how many items are in the claw machine though. Oh my gosh, I got a robot. What? That's so cute. That's such a cute little robot. Wait, I want to put that on. That is so cute. It's like a little pet on the side of me. That is really cute. Oh, but yeah, so again, that is the arcade. Um, and I think these are games too, or are they just sitting there? They might just be sitting there. I'm like, what are those games? But yeah, so anyways, that is how you farm here. But not only is there little mini games like that, there's also laser tag over here. So I think that you can get like some currency from playing this. I've only played laser tag like once on here and it was like a year ago. So I don't really remember how this works. I tried to play last night and and it, it like disconnected me and Nathan. I don't know if it was our internet or if it was the game. But anyways, um, I'll try to play a game. Okay, so it is now the intermission. The game is about to start. I'm kind of scared. I've played this only once. I barely remember. So here we go. Now playing Intergalactic Warzone. I'm on Team Red. Here's the laser gun. Make sure to pull it out. And we got to start shooting people on the blue team. Oh, gosh. Oh, oh, they're already coming over here. What? Oh, I got them. I got them. Okay, so it's kind of like archery, I guess. The Battle of La Royal Archery is what I would compare it to. So, oh my gosh. Ah! They're about to shoot at me. They're up here. Oh no, no, no. <laughs> Please stop. No! Oh my gosh, they killed me, bro. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna try to go in first person. Is this easier? I'm gonna try to treat it like a first person shooter game right now, I guess. Oh no. Oh, okay, that's my team. This is scary. I'm so focused. I don't know how the aiming works on <laughs> Oh my gosh, we keep shooting at each other. <gasps> oh, I got someone, I got someone. This person's really good, but I think I just shot at them. I did, let's go. Oh no, but blue is winning still. Where are they? Where's where's blue at? Oh my gosh. Oh wait, they're right here. Oh, oh my gosh. We're wait, are we winning? I can't tell. Are we, we're red, but there's like more kills on blue. Are they like just that good? I have no idea. I think we might be winning, but the it's like this is my team, this is their team. Like I think blue at the top is us. I don't know. I'm really confused. Make sure every time you die to pull out your laser gun because it might not be equipped. Team Red wins! Oh, let's go. I won. What what happens when you win? I think I got more tickets. I'm not sure how many tickets I got. So, Celestia and Moonlight Spaceship and Nade. I'm not sure what Moonlight Spaceship is. Moonlight Spaceship is just this main area. Like, where you spawn, basically, is what that is. You're basically on a spaceship at spawn here. And then the other two areas are places for, like, very huge quests. And I'm gonna have separate videos for those. And you don't really need to do these quests to start. I haven't done Nade yet, but I have done Celestia. And I don't think it really even does give you anything. But it is just, like, a fun quest to do. I'm not sure if it does give you anything like i i don't know i'm gonna have to like do it again on an alt or something to know for sure but nade i've heard does give you a free set so i will do a tutorial video on that soon but i think for now this is a good way to start out having like two free items get some items from the arcade and doing a, a job for some items and stuff there's a lot of cute items in the game and i think that they're worth farming for and farming is so much easier on here than any other dress up game i've 
have played so i recommend getting a job because that is so easy and i think the easiest one that i know of like by far right now is the one that um i told you guys how to get which was the like science lab one so yeah that's how you play astro renaissance and um you can collect items here there is a lot of stuff here so anyways thank you guys so much for watching this video i hope this helps you guys out with learning how to play and how to start grinding and collecting items on here so if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to leave a like and subscribe and if you want to see location videos and stuff for other quests if you need help on those make sure to let me know in the comments and let me know if you have any other questions so i can make videos on it and yeah thank you so much bye care bears